entry should be BAM! It is SMACK! BACK UP! BACK THE FUCK UP! I'm going to be geared around maiming. You're gonna use the nails, maybe you can uh, use uh, biting, maybe raking, so you can use um, tissue trauma. So what we want to try is, somebody's on top of you, so I don't mind how he came on top of you, maybe because you were waiting too long and now you're reactive, or maybe you hit somebody first and now he's crashing in on top of you. And I want to show you now the foundation of, first of all, strong balance and how that you need to understand how basic grappling works. And from this dynamic, I want you to hurt him with your nails or with your teeth depending on how the training will go to create distance so you can go back to impact because if you can generate impact on the brain you can knock him out when somebody's unconscious he's no longer a threat anymore yes somebody's on top of you you don't have enough space to generate power so you can hurt him so you can go back to impact also if you want to use the nails it's also a strong tool if you cannot generate enough impact power for example, if you don't have the right body mechanics, somebody's pushing you head over heels, you can use the nails to get to a strong base so you now can generate power. Or simply, for example, you're a female, you cannot generate enough impact to knock somebody out who is way stronger than you. So now you use nails to create distance so you can run or to create distance and now you have better body mechanics to generate some impact so you can uh, get out. Understand the, the, the topic of uh, this training? Yes, awesome. My control, try positions. Yes. But at all times, you stay balanced with the leg. Yes? Don't do this shit. Somebody's grabbing me, flat footed. So get this in all the time. Keep it light. So tactile sensitivity. It's not 100% real, but I try to get my chest to his back. Yes? So that's the most dominant position. If I need to, for example, work with my nails, I want this position first, so now I can control and maybe use my nails. But it allows me only to get dominant if I get my chest to his back. If I'm doing this and I have no control and I get to the eyes, he will create distance, and now he will hurt me with impact, for example. Boom. Yes, so if you want to use the nails, first close him down, and or better is, to get chest to back and now you can take his balance and maybe work with the nails right now. First can do is flank in this position and when the head is there I can grab the head, put it against me and now I have chest to back. You see? And now I can work with my nails if I want to use maiming. So instead of fighting from the clinch to get this position, there's also something in between before this event. So what I could do is flank, grab and then now control and now rake, yes? So the entry should be bam. So he thinks about, oh, this instead of doing something else. So if I could be first and I bang, squeeze the teeth, I'm doing boom before I entry. So I get this position, bang, bam, bam, and now I control, you see? So it's gonna be the smack. Is it concussive as well? It is concussive, so it's an incidental strike. So I flank with a hit, that's a principle of hitting low. Now I'm going to hit high with the entry and now I pull back quick and I'll control. So his head is over here and now I can do what the fuck I want for him. For example, scratch, maybe bring him to the floor from a security perspective, pin him and then do the rest. Yes, hard as I can. So it becomes ballistically, this stops him from thinking about anything. And because some people will say he can bite you like this. No, he cannot bite me like this because he is thinking about, oh, what the fuck just happened? So understand that this is a concussive entry you use, yes? To get chest to back, so now maybe you can use the nails. So flank, I will smash it in, pull him against me, now I will find control while I'm ripping, couching, biting, ripping, all that stuff, raking, yes? So first, you flank, smash, grab, control, and look what I'm doing, I'm controlling now. Now I rake, 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 yes? While I'm having control, so don't do this. Because in real life, if I do this, boom, boom, and I let him go, now guess what he's doing? He doesn't want that. Yes, so we're going to bring this to the back now, thanks. Grab this. I can go from this to this too. I can rake. But before I do that, I need, again, control. If I get from this position, 
I can get this free, maybe while I'm hurting him, maybe I'm squeezing and ripping, if I can. But if I do this and I have no control, he gets back. Now he has distance to fuck me up, boom. Yes, so what you wanna do, if you're gonna do something like this, from this position, first the base, number one is always your base. So this position, I can go from this, but I first wanna control the neck, so he cannot escape me. This is a split second in time. This position I will smash as hard as I can, so he has again something to think about. So it's almost like a palm strike. This position, boom, now I rake as much as I can. Without the pad, same story. Let's say I found out in this position, I could find my balance. Without balance, you were going to the floor. Same stuff applies, but we we'll keep it stand up right now, yes? So this position, I first fight the floor on the neck, rake up, smash it in, and now I rake the face. And now it looks what we're having right now. You can go to the groin, or you can go to no impact because you just created distance. So now you go to hammer, hammer, hammer. Yes? At first find control, switch, break. Yes, simple.